I sing good one time. Good morning to you. That's right. Good morning to you. It's a brand new day for music, and I'm ready to rock with you. Good morning to you. Good morning, children. My name is Mr. Luthor. I'm going to open us up in prayer today. Dear Jesus, thank you for this new day to be alive. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Please forgive us for all of our sins and make us right with you. We welcome your Holy Spirit presence today. Please be here with us and meet with us. We want to know you more. Please help us to listen to your word, listen to your Holy Spirit's voice, and change us from the inside out to be more like your Son, Jesus. We also ask that you protect us and care for us as we go about today. We love you, Jesus. We worship you alone. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 119 verses 105 says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path wherever I'm going. Let's memorize the scripture by singing the song. Great singing, everybody, and good morning. Welcome back to Kids Alive Spiritual Breakfast. We're so glad to be here with you this morning. We missed you on Friday. Sorry about that. So glad to be back on Monday morning. This is my buddy, Scripture Squirrel, and we are going to do a new memory verse. Scripture Squirrel, will you tell us the memory verse for this week? I'll tell you. It's Matthew 6.33. Scripture Squirrel, that's a famous memory verse. I know. I'm so excited that the kids are going to get to learn this one. All right, well, let's tell them what it says. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. All what things, Scripture Squirrel? You'll have to read the oil passage to learn that. Okay, all right. Well, I'm excited to learn this verse, so seek first. First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's right. That's what we need to seek. Okay, Scripture Squirrel, great job. Thank you. Can we say it one more time just to really get it in our brains for the first day of the week? Okay. Matthew 6.33. Seek. <clears throat> but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. Very good. Thank you, Scripture Squirrel. I know you've got one more thing to say to the kids. 
Hi, cat. I love you. All right, what a great job he always does. All right, today is Monday, January 25th, and we've got Tell People About Jesus. So this verse from Mark 16, 15 says, He said to them, Go into the world and preach the gospel to all creation. So, you're just a kid. How would you go into all the world and preach the gospel? You can't really just leave your home and go to other countries, can you? Well, I think what Jesus is trying to teach us is that wherever we are and whatever we're doing, we can be preachers of the gospel of Jesus. So you might want to become an astronaut and fly in space, or you might want to become a doctor and help sick people get better. Or you might want to be a teacher and teach kids how to do math or science or learn about history. There's all kinds of jobs, and God has put something really special in your heart, a plan and a purpose for your life of something that you're made to do. Very special. It's unique to just you. So in whatever you do, whatever field you're called into, you want to do a great job. You want to work hard as under the Lord. But while you're doing it, you're going to make friends with people. You're going to meet new people, and you're going to be able to talk to them about Jesus. So the way this works is, whoever you meet, wherever you are, love those people. Be kind to them. Teach them how to follow Jesus by the way you act. And as you spend time with those people, you're going to get a chance to share the truth about who Jesus is with them. And so we do both things. We live a good life and a pure life, loving other people, being kind, doing what is right. And every chance we get, we tell people that Jesus is the Son of God and he can take away their sins. That's how we go and make disciples. That's how we go into all the world and preach the gospel. Wherever we go and whatever we do, we love people and we tell them about Jesus. So do you think that's something you could do even right now as a kid in school, as a student in your preschool, in your elementary school? You can do that. You can love people make friends, and tell people about Jesus. And that is fulfilling the Great Commission, or Jesus' words in Mark 16, 15. All right, so the challenge for today, the power note, is to find somebody that you know and tell them that Jesus loves them, that Jesus is the Son of God. Let's pray. God, thank you for your word. Thank you that it is not too hard to do what you said, to go in the world and preach the gospel. I pray that today you'd give us the power and the love to be able to tell people who you are and what you are like so that they can come to know you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, I love you. Have a great day. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. I'm going to leave you out with a blessing and a song. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace. May the Lord lift up the height of his countenance on you. May the Lord protect you and keep you safe from all harm and trouble. In Jesus' name, amen. that in and